This is literally the moment I've been waiting for. Say hello to the camera. Hello. What are your names? Uh, Riley, Clara, Bianca and Liliana. Alright guys, so I've just come out here to start shooting this new episode today and then I've had these guys here sort of in the background somewhere over there. They were just going out for a couple of mud crabs, a bit of fishing and they've just driven past and they pulled me up and said they watched my videos which was a bit of a spin out. So I've just moved up here, I'm shooting an episode and I've met these guys here. You want to show off some of your catch? You got a mud crab in there or? Yeah, mud crab. Go get it. Remember that? You bastard. There you go. You don't... Watch your fingers. Hold him up nice and big. There you go. Little boss. Oh, you got some mangrove jacks, did you? Yeah, we could. Right guys, so that family that just came up and said good day to me just before, they're actually fishing just over behind me here. That's their white hylux there. And I'm just situated over here. I'll give you a quick look at where I am. That's my setup there. So spin back around. And yeah, so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna walk over there with the camera now, see what they're up to, see if they're cool with being on film for a little bit and just see how they're catching things. Cause I haven't actually put anything in the water yet. I've got a scoop net there for prawns and garfish if I see any. I've got my crab scoop here and I've got my fishing rod. So I plan on catching something today. It's getting on to about half two, three o'clock in the afternoon now, but I'm sort of waiting for the tide to go down anyway, to be honest. And um, yeah, let's get over there, see how they're going. If you pull that one down, the drone should start coming down. That's it. That's it. Keep it going. And if you want to go back up, ready? If you want to go back up really fast, push it up. Whoa. What do you got? What type of cod? Don't know. Something tasty. <laughs> Go on. No pressure. See you later. Hey, Baba. Hello, my little princess. Any crabs up there? Any crabs? So I've got this bank right here that I want to try for muddies in a minute. But then just over here a second ago, I just saw some big splashes in the water which show me there's some big fish up around this corner here getting up to some mischief so I'll grab my fish bag that's floating away we'll go see what we can find okay so this to give you guys a proper look here first hole I'm going to try is this one here Next one I'm going to try is this one here. And what we're looking for, what I learnt off Cav, the master, is anywhere like this, you can see there's fresh mud there that's been pushed out. 
So that means a crab would have had to have pushed out. You can see right there, there's a tiny little crab, but hopefully there's a big muddy behind that. Oh! There's a f***ing muddy in there. <laughs> this is it. This is my time to shine. This is literally the moment I've been waiting for. I just poked my wire into this hole here and bang, straight away, a little smack. Enough to know there's some serious meat on that crab. It might not be a massive muddy, but it ain't something to be embarrassed by. So I don't want to ruin this. I'm going to set the camera up somewhere half decent. I don't know, I'll do my best. I'm going to grab my head torch. I'm going to get that damn crab out of there. I'm going to catch my first ever muddy. You guys are going to witness it. It's going to be on camera. Let's get stuck into it. I know there's one in there. I don't know where it could have gone. Oh, did I just feel it then? I feel like half like an idiot for stopping to film that instead of just going for it, but I guess that's why I'm here. Oh, there's no telling how far back this hole goes though. I know there's one in there, that's the worst part. I'm gonna grab my head torch. This could take 15 minutes, like I've been told. I'm gonna to see if I can wrangle this one out, and if not, I'll start trying a couple of the other holes next door to this one, but we're getting one. <laughs> All right, guys, this is it. Here you can't. Okay, you can't see much of the hole over there anyway, but I've seen it, I've seen the crab. Don't know how far back this hole goes, but I'm gonna get the crab. Hear it? That's the crab. Got it again. All right, this is such a crazy moment for me. <laughs> I just wanna make sure. I've got everything lined up, man. I'm actually nervous as starting to lose light here, so I want to get one good, one good crack at this. My first ever muddy. Oh yes, it's a monster. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. 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 I can't believe this is happening. Can't believe this is happening. We've done it. Hey. <laughs> oh, we've bloody got it. <laughs> yes. Oh, mate. <sighs> That's it. I can die happy now. I cannot tell you guys <laughs> how happy that makes me. So we just caught my first muddy and it's a stormy guy. I'm actually shaking in my legs. <laughs> oh, look at it. I've done it. I'll wash it up. I'll tank it over to this bank here. I'll show you guys and then we'll try to get some more. You. All right. The actual amount of stoke I have right now from this one crab is unreal. <laughs> it's 
so good. Oh, I know it's still daylight out here right now, but having the head torch on there and being able to see into the hole and actually see the crab, that made all the difference. I'm actually feeling like if I was wasting my time or not. And I know I ain't. You. <laughs> oh, there you go, guys. My first ever mud crab caught solo in the creeks. This is exactly what I came out here to do, was to chase these guys. I got a bit distracted earlier hanging out with that family before, but that wasn't a problem at all. I had such a great time meeting them and seeing what they were doing. And then, yeah, it was pretty much mud crab was the plan. I've got my dogs back up here for the first episode, for the first time hanging out, taking them out for the day. Everything's fallen into place. I've got a muddy. What more could you ask for? I could tell you what I could ask for, actually. One more claw. So this one's missing a claw. Bit devil about that. Hey, don't put your face too close to a mud crab. I don't know how freshly that claw's gone, so I might even go have a look in the hole and see if that claw's there. But if it's gone already from another time, then spewing. But uh, yeah, let's start poking around some other holes and see if we can get some more. Excuse the camera work. I don't have my big tripod over here with me because I didn't want to have to drag it through the water and mud here because it would absolutely destroy it. But just over here on the bank over there, just to the side of me, is another mud crab. I said that really weird. Another, another mud crab. And I know that because I was just walking along looking for fish to spear with my gidgey and I poked my head inside a hole with the head torch and voila, there was one in there. So. All I've done right now is I've just sort of sat my spear inside the hole, half blocking it off. I'm getting absolutely just demolished by these little sand flies right now that are just eating me alive because I've been swimming in and out of the water. Oh, it's so itchy. Any of the repellent that I've had on me is just washing straight off. So I'm getting eaten. I've got, let me get this back in focus. I've got one bar of battery left on the camera here, so I need to make this work and I need to make it work quickly. So I'm gonna grab my crab hook, we'll call it, and we're gonna get over there, we're gonna get this money out, so let's do it. And then I'm gonna take two home, one for me, one for my housemate, Geordie. Go! So just in there, in that hole, there's a muddy. You guys can't see it, but I can. And I'm gonna get him out in a second, I'll show you. Hat goes on backwards, fix the moustache. Head torch goes on, so I can see in the hole. Tighten the strap up, then turn that on, just like that. Keep swatting away these sand flies. Okay, now. This is the final piece of the puzzle. This crab hook here that I bent up earlier, six millimeter galvanized round bar, just from your hardware shop. Little hook on there, handle this end. I'm gonna be right over there on that bank. I'm gonna leave the camera right here, rolling just as it is. It is recording, thankfully. And then I'm gonna walk back over here with a mud crab in a second if the camera doesn't die. So I'll see you guys in a second. I might just leave a crib rolling. Who knows, we'll see how long it takes me, but just take in nature, take in the sounds. I've got a microphone underneath my bloody throat here, so you're probably gonna hear me breathing and carrying on and say, F this, F that, but anyway, let's get it out. Mate, I do not ever want to get bitten. <laughs> but one of these things, I don't know if you guys could hear the amount of me carrying on just there. But this is basically what I did to my six mil round bar, trying to get him out. I just bananaed it completely in half. 
And as he's fallen out, he's grabbed onto the first thing he could. My spear was standing like that. Spear down into the water. Ooh, jeez. I think that was my string. And as he's fallen, I was like, no, I'm going to lose it to the water. And he's grabbed onto my spear. And man, my fingers got so close to getting grabbed. I, as soon as I felt it grab onto that steel, the round bar, I was like, no way do I ever want to get bitten by one of these things because they have some serious punch. I honestly thought it was going to get through that round bar just about. That's what it felt like. You actually feel the force come down on it. Uh, I'm trying to get it to let go of this spear without taking its claw off, but it doesn't seem to want to. But anyway, I am going to get it off, but there you go. There's my second ever green mud crab from the Pilbara. How good's that? So I've got one, Geordie's got one now. I could die happy, man. If that's all I get tonight, whoop de doo That's such a good time. We're going to eat these for dinner tomorrow night. Come on, mate, get off the spear. No interest in it, eh? All right, this one's gonna go in the bag. We're gonna get back to the ute. We'll check in over there, see how things are looking with my dogs, with my water, with my beer, all that sort of thing. And then we'll make up our mind. I might just have a little bit of a look around in the water in front of my ute, just stay close to it with the head torch, see if I can spear some fish. And if not, two mud crabs. That's two more than I expected to get today, and I'm very, very happy with that amount. That's all I need for dinner for tonight, tomorrow, whatever. Me and Geordie, happy days. One there, one there. Bingo. All right, guys, this is it for the outro. Let me just uh, say a little thing. Let me say a few little things with... Ah, uh, that didn't really go to plan. Elmira, up, up. Elmira, up, up. Oh, come on, back up, up. Come on, ready? Oh, yeah. All right, now come show your heads. Come here. Come here. One. Guthix, come here. Come here. All the way through. Come here. Right here. Guthix, come here. All right. I'm just going to block them from jumping out. Shh. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this episode. I'm wrapping this up right now. As you can see, there's a beautiful sunset on the horizon there. Well, the sun's well and truly gone, but the last light looks spectacular, as it always seems to do up here in the Pilbara. We've got a full moon tonight. I felt really good about today. It got off to a bit of a weird start with like me getting distracted with the filming and everything, but that's generally how it goes. But we got it done in the end. I set out. I really wanted to go spear fishing today. So what happened uh, last week? I went down to Perth last week, shot down, grabbed the last of my belongings, picked my dogs back up, moved them up north with me. I got back last night, and then today I was like, sweet, I'll um, try to get some people to come out spearfishing with me. Turns out that's actually a lot harder to do on a Thursday than you would imagine, so no one wanted to go diving with me, and I'm not quite experienced because I have absolutely zero experience in diving enough to do it on my own so i'm waiting until i can get out a few times with some people to properly get into that but spear fishing will be on this channel now that's coming up soon so i compensated compromised whatever you want to say and i came out today chasing mud crabs and i was really hopeful to get some that's all i really wanted i had the gidgey there in case there was a thread fin or something worth spearing around me um, i did bring a fishing rod as well but that never got thrown in the water but anyway we've got two muddies i'm not going to do this as a catch and cook because the muddies are fresh as, it's dark now, the dogs are going to be hungry, so I'm just going to quit while I'm ahead, get on home, get them back to Geordie, we're going to cook them up tomorrow night, my house mate, uh, we'll have a nice dinner, and then yeah, I'll get stuck into the next stuff next time, but I'm going to chill them down, so I'll put them to sleep, cook them up properly, rather than me just race through right now, stab a knife into them, and get stuck into them, so sorry about not cooking them, but I never called this episode a catch and cook, did I? So. Anyway, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. It was a cool little experience today meeting some of the locals here, getting my first mud crabs on my own. I hope it came across well, short and sweet today, but it's the best way to do it sometimes. I'll see you in the next episode. My heart beats for you. I